early. Everybody's sleeping except myself and Miss Lilia, who is our daughter that likes to wake up really early. And she's excited for something. And we are excited about going to New York City this morning. So I am going to make some breakfast and we have all of our clothes set out for the day. We already have our bag packed and we are ready to walk up to the train station and take the train ride into New York City. All right, so we decided we are going to do this New York City trip with one backpack for our family of six. Here's what we're putting in it. We all woke up early enough, very early, excited to do New York City and go visit. So we are trying to hit the train one hour earlier than we originally planned. So now we're actually gonna be cutting it close. Hopefully we make it there because then the next train doesn't come for another hour. Madison Square Garden, Joel's first time in the city. We're excited to be here. As you can tell, there's a little bit of noise. And... This is cool. I don't know. I didn't really... It's cool. It's like a different feeling than I expected. I don't know why. Maybe it's because we started out right here up on top of Penn Station in Madison Square Garden. And it's yeah. a little more open. It doesn't feel as crowded as I thought yet. Yeah, we still have the full day of exploring We're going to see city. lots of the city. We're doing this visit in like two days. We're trying to plan our time wisely. And since we didn't plan to actually go up in the Statue of Liberty, we're trying to debate if we should just kind of hang here and see it from here, if we want to still take a boat out to get a closer look. So I think we decided we are going to opt out of taking the ferry boat to go see the Statue of Liberty because we got to see it from over here. The kids are really excited to go on the glass carousel, so we're checking that Yay! out here in Battery Park. I see that, Mom. Do you see it? We heard a great review about checking out this sea glass carousel in Battery Park here in New York City, and the kids are pretty excited. Even Tony's back there on one with Jasmine. to take a ferry and check out the Brooklyn Bridge. Now we're on the south pier, we're gonna go down to Pier 11 and head across to Brooklyn for some of the best pizza in the world. And we'll see if it's Grimaldi's or Giuliana's, but just wanted to give you all a shot. There's the Brooklyn Bridge right in the background. Normal day, love and travel. <laughs> We made it on the ferry, Gwenny. Yeah. <laughs> you excited? Yeah. We're going to Double City. <laughs> We're on the Double We're Ferry. We're going to Brooklyn right. we to grab some pizza.
Jazzy, what did you call it? Where are we right now? Dumbo City. Dumbo City? Because we took the Dumbo Ferry over to Brooklyn. First she says, Dumbo Land, and then she goes, Dumbo City. And I said, no, it's Brooklyn. <laughs> So we decided not to wait in the really long line and we found another pizza place actually just under the Brooklyn Bridge here and we only had to wait maybe 15 minutes. New York is it's awesome but it's exhausting with four kids. <laughs> we knew it was gonna be. So that was fun. Yeah, we wanted to go into Brooklyn further. <laughs> Subconsciously, I Quick jump down the next train that came by and it was going the wrong way. So now we're going to go over that way. We got off and then had to go up and around and now we're waiting for our correct train to break. Yep, so the kids got another train ride on the Subway. Where are we going, guys? You guys, look at, we can see the M&M store, we're just 30 floors above it. What do you think? This is the best view ever. Is this New York or what? Yeah, wow, they are so awesome. They totally upgraded everything for us. They not only gave us an upgraded room with a panoramic view of Times Square, they also gave us, um, like, Free, like three free drinks, two free coffees down at the Grind and Go, um, two super discounted buffets for um, breakfast buffet tomorrow, and the kids eat free. And then I think we even have like a twenty dollars food voucher for downstairs. And this amazing room with this. Check out this view. <gasps> yeah, we we're living it up here. <laughs> anything and instead we convinced the kids or kind of just told them we're gonna go down the street to like the local pharmacy and see what candy we could get you for a special treat with your money if you want it and now they're like freaking out excited so <laughs> because it's way cheaper and it was way less chaotic here so it was a cool experience but we're good I'm so glad we waited to really check out more of Times Square until the next morning. On a Sunday morning, there are way less people here. I feel much safer walking without having to hold Wendy's hand right next to me. Day two, Day Times two. Square. <laughs> Day, two. Day, two. Day two. Yeah, I think waking up this morning in a hotel was different for us. We're used to being in the RV, so... We had full hookups. <laughs> we had full hookups. <laughs> but we're tired, you know. Um, a lot of walking. Lots of walking yesterday, trying to get motivated for day two here in uh, New York City. Gonna go see the History Museum and uh, Central Park. Yeah, Rockefeller Center maybe. Rockefeller Center and then catch your train back to Long Beach. Can you say hi? Yeah, we're, uh, it's fun. I'm excited. I definitely see our family coming back here sometime. Yes, yeah, so, so much, so much to see and explore. Honestly, for family, weekend, downtown is a place to be. It's so quiet. The financial yeah. district, everybody's not working because the markets are closed. Or come here in Times Square on a Sunday morning where it's not as busy. I mean, this is not that busy for Times Square. No. So that's what I would recommend if you plan on coming. But one backpack, we're doing this. We're doing it. What do 
do you think of the subway station? Stinky, gross, and disgusting. Stinky, gross, and disgusting. What do we think of the subway station? It's a beautiful, harmonious culture of yeah. bacteria it's, and it's, it's hot. It's really, really hot. That would be one thing. That and it's a lot dirtier than I thought it would be. Again, yeah. Weekend subways are train so service. different. Modified train service. Uh, they don't stop at 81st Street today, so we can either walk the 20 blocks or take this uh, CF under 25th, go across, uh, across the platform, catch the downtown train back to 81st. So I think we're going to hop in and then we're we'll going to walk in. check out Central Park since we are walking our one mile up to the Natural History Museum. Doing something on our bucket list anyway. Try to make some history. kids are done. Tony's done. He was done this morning. He didn't get a good night's sleep and that kind of puts us all in a mood. So now I think we're going to end up having to miss out on the Natural History Museum, which really stinks because that was like one of the things on the top of my list. I guess I shouldn't have put it off till the second day, but I thought we would be able to get it in. And looks like uh, we need to go grab some food and probably take the train back to the van. <laughs> the nicest subway station we've been at yet. Probably because right, right underneath Julia. We're back. Oh. Train station. <laughs> now we need to get in the van and get back to the RV, but... A mile away. New York City. See you later. Thanks for the visit. <laughs> OMG, Batman. Six miles yesterday in walking and four today equals ten with little legs. That's mix. a lot for us. Makes a lot plus 60 pound bag. Yeah. We did some rucking. We did. But we did this. <laughs> we did it. We did NYC in a day and a half, and we want to go back, but be able to stay in the city, have downtime. Have a little more downtime. Be the way to go. Yeah. I think so. Otherwise, it was amazing. It was. We're just pure exhausted. We are. We're glad to be back. Yeah. To the